All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. For those that know, I like to travel a lot when I stay in these hotels. And uh, this one is the Fairfield in Almogordo, New Mexico. $300 for this handicap room. Supposedly, this is the only room they had. The bed's like a foot off the ground. And no offense to the handicap, I mean, this this room was just trash. So the bed's messed up because this was already later on in the afternoon. So the desk was dirty. The chair was like, I don't know what was on the chair. And then you can see some sticky stuff on the desk. I don't even know what that was. And then you can see the bed. Like I said, I was laying there earlier, so I always like to look into the beds before I before I lay down because there's another video I'm going to post on here. And you got these cool retro studio lights going on. I'm using my DJI, so it's kind of, it moves around a lot. It moves pretty quick. You got this old retro carpet, pretty tore up. You get this weird random window that goes to the hot tub. And the hot tub, that's another story. You'll have I'll do a close up on this. Alright, let's take a look in this closet right here. Supposedly there's a safe. And I don't know what that white stuff is. I think it might be from the wall. I don't think I'd put anything in there. Let's take a look in the bathroom. You have a phone in there. I always uh, like to take a look around. The shower's kind of weird. The wall is like really weird. Oh, yeah. Check out this soap. Like, there's your accommodations. There's a hair on the wall. <laughs> the wall's already wet. I haven't even taken a shower yet. The drain is nasty. And then, like, there was a water bug in there also. So now we'll take a look at the, uh, the sink area. So, like, I would not want to uh, jump in that hot tub. The stuff I found in there was really disgusting. There was like pubic hairs. There was a toenail. Like who knows what goes down in here. There's hair everywhere. I don't even know what those... That stuff is, you can see hair right there on the left. Just disgusting. This is the Fairfield in Almogordo. If they ever see this video, they're probably going to send me a coupon, but that still never stay at another Fairfield again. This is trash. Oh yeah, watch. Check this out. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. You got this, like, drain right here by your bed. And then you got this piece of metal sticking up. It's like, can you imagine getting out of bed to use the restroom and you just freaking slice your foot open, your ankle open? I uh, told the manager about it, but they said it was supposed to be fixed like a week ago, but I doubt it. So good luck if you guys stay there. This is in Almogordo, New Mexico. All right, guys, so I'm over here at this haunted hotel. <clears throat> There's, like, dry pieces of skin in this bed. All the way up to here. You can see it right there. There's some more right there. Some more right there. You don't even want to know what that is. <clears throat> Fortunately, I always bring this black light with me. 
I don't know what that is. So I'm going to turn off the light. You can see that. Whatever that is, that's disgusting. Let's see what's on this side. Don't even want to know. Don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Alright guys, this is five guys on northern and southern. Thought I'd show you the pictures before I uh, play the audio. Or the video of me filming them telling me that don't ever call back and don't ever order from them again because that's a great customer service at Five Guys here in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. So don't ever, don't ever eat there. Unless you guys want a laxative, go for it. Five Guys, you're a rancher. Yeah, is that how you guys treat customers? You guys just hang up on them when they have a complaint? Oh yeah, I just got a burger from you guys, the, the bacon burger. Yes. And dude, that it was like the most horrible burger I've ever had. Like it was it was really bad. And your and your um, and your associate has the guts to tell me don't order from you guys again. Seriously? Like that's how you guys treat customers? Wait, what one more time? What happened? Yeah, he said, Well don't order from us again if you feel that way. It's like you, you tell your customers that? Is that what no, you do? We don't tell our customers. Well, I'm gonna let you tell. You, I'm gonna tell you something right now, dude. I do a lot of food reviews, and right now I'm doing this for YouTube. So just to let you know that you know you don't you don't do that to customers, and you don't ever tell a customer don't ever order from you guys again if we don't like your food. That's crap. No, I didn't even know that happened. Honestly. That's, so what I can do is if you want, I can refund your burger and I can have it be made for you and stuff. No, I don't. I don't want to deal with your food again. I just thought I'd tell you guys it was it was horrible. And then to be talked to like that, that's that's pretty sad. And then that was the person that just answered the phone. Yeah, that was just the dude that handed you the phone saying, "Oh, you deal with this guy." So, and I'm and I'm being honest right now, dude. I'm like filming right now and telling you this so I could put this on my YouTube channel. To let people know what kind of customer service you had, unless you say something, unless you could say something better to prove people wrong, but I'm not ordering from you guys again. I mean, that's that's pretty sad. I mean, they're not trained to say that, so I'm gonna have to talk with them about what they say to customers and stuff like that. It's not supposed to say stuff like that to anyone. Yeah, that's that's not right. Yes, I'm aware. So, uh, whatever you'd want to do, if like I said, if you want to come in, we can get you a refund and stuff like that, or we can get it remade. So I'm gonna talk to the employee and see what why he said that and stuff like that to you. Yeah. No, I'm good man. I don't I won't eat there again, but I'm just letting you know though that I will put this on YouTube and let people know that that's the customer service you get. I got you. You have a good day. You Sorry too. Alright. Alright guys, just no outro song, but uh welcome to New Mexico if you ever come visit here, so be careful, be safe, until the next one.